talking about the second goal of our term, the one that we chose, and it's reduce inequality. God, it's brutal out of here. Goal number 10, right? Yes, okay. goal number 10. Uh, reduce inequalities talks about eliminating inequalities in every field of our society. It includes political inequalities, religious inequalities, economical inequalities, social inequalities. It's not only attached to a gender or a specific gender, it's attached to everything that makes us different as human beings. This goal is more general than gender equality because we include a rush, the racism problems, we include a religion problems, and all that kind of problems that uh, make differences between some people in their life, in their social development, in the work, and in the jobs maybe. Yes, um, are those things that create a separation in the society and might create some sort of conflict? Uh, for example, the countries that have established a very um, a strict religious line and doesn't ex accept people that doesn't agree with that religion and wants to pursue another religion. And it also talks about the economical differences that it could be in a society when people have a lot of money and maybe there's a part of the population that doesn't have that much money. Uh, the idea is to be in a position or in a place where everyone in the society can have the same opportunities in every field. Economical field, religious field, political field. The same happens in countries where the political situation is very radical and the people in the power has more opportunities than the people who is against uh, of that government. In a season in the United States, the Muslim people can use his jihad, that is the uh, the religion, religion. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, is a religion important part of their life because uh, they are uh, denigrated of his jobs, his uh, neighborhoods, yes. because uh, the people feel that they are dangerous person. But that is not correct. All are human and we are different. The religion don't make us. Uh, dangerous or not? Yes, uh, a, a society, a person, a race, even a nationality cannot be defined but by what one certain group of people does. Um, and that's part of what the reduce inequality talks about. We are all different and for that we all think differently and act differently, but that shouldn't be uh, a reason why we need to denigrate other people or discriminate other people. In the case of, for example, in the Muslims, they were the, the yihad, but it's a staple for the women in that religion. And we shouldn't look those people differently just because they have a different uh, religion. The same happened probably with the Indian persons or the Mexican persons that are denigrated to probably jobs that are not necessarily well paid just because of the race. And this happens in many parts of the world with the immigrants. I'm just naming a nationality, but this happens around the world with different types of immigrants. So this goal talks in general of all the things that could create inequalities inside of our society. Those situations include, in, include the Venezuelan people who live in other countries. Uh, we have a different accent to explain or to speak and uh, we are denigrated because we are Venezuelan and some Venezuelans don't do the things correctly and all the Venezuelans are in the same box Yes. and the people think that Venezuelan people is not a good people and our invitation is that we put in that place in those places, in religion places, in gender places, in racist places, because it's not correct feel make feel someone that is not part of
the society. Yes, we we're not we don't have the right to make feel someone less than us just because they're different than us. And that goes to every aspect of your life. So the invitation is for you to apply this goal in your daily life. Thank you. See you in the next class. Bye.